architects can now transfer files directly from Autodesk Revit to Unreal Engine. Supported elements include materials, metadata, hierarchy, geometric instancing, lights, and cameras. By writing files from Revit that can be directly imported by Datasmith, the exporter eliminates the need for time-consuming file translation processes via another software package, enabling more efficient design review and iteration. You start by exporting your view from Revit into the Datasmith file format. After importing into Unreal Studio, the Revit model is ready to begin working with. It has all the families represented by layers and the basic shaders have come across. Of course, Unreal has the ability to achieve amazing high fidelity, so we're going to assign some new shaders. I could do this manually, but for this example, I'm going to tap into Python. I'm going to run a script to batch replace shaders based on conditions that I've set. Next, I'm going to build the lighting model. And after a bit of processing, the Revit file is starting to look really good. The last feature I want to highlight is metadata, and it's so powerful inside of Unreal Studio. You can use it to do all kinds of things. It can run in the editor and during runtime. In this example, we're going to be using some blueprint code to query the metadata and display it in the engine when we click on the model. So we'll just start the experience running, and you'll notice that as I navigate around, wherever I click down with my cursor, I get a call out that's querying the metadata that's underneath it. So that's just a quick introduction to the Unreal Studio workflow for your Revit models. We've dramatically improved the out-of-the-box fidelity and visual results you get from your materials in Unreal Engine when you use Datasmith to import scenes from 3ds Max. The animation that's playing highlights the improved V-Ray materials from 3D Max, producing more predictable and consistent results in Unreal Engine, especially for surfaces with IOR, metalness, and bump maps. The end result is better BRDF matching for V-Ray materials. In addition, we've added the ability to translate 3ds Max material graphs to Unreal graphs when exporting with the Datasmith files, making the materials easier to understand and work with, and ensuring that the material sharing the same graphs are created as instances in Unreal Studio for reduced visual clutter and faster compile times. So we're going to finish off by loading up an image from the original V-Ray file. As you can see, we've extended and enhanced Unreal Studio's ability to handle 3ds Max content. We've also added the great new functionality of the Revit workflow. Thanks so much for taking the time to check the video out. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm.